Hi, my name is Taylor. We're going to be doing a chest x-ray today. So here's my patient. What's your first and last name? Tegan Anderson. All right, and date of birth? 11-25-1993. All right, and then is there a chance that you could be pregnant today? Mm -hmm. And do you have any like necklaces or jewelry on? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what brings you in today? Um, I have shortness of breath. Okay. Um, so today we're going to be taking a few chest x-rays, just one of you facing this board and then one facing sideways like this. Mm -hmm. We'll try to figure out what's going on with you. So go ahead and face the board here. And let me check the lighting first before you get too comfortable over there. Okay. So we want to ensure that it's at centered at T7. And you can see there's like maybe two to one and a half inches above her shoulders of light space. And I'm at 72, to, uh, 72 inches distance. You're gonna come close to the board, as close as you can, and grab hold of these bars. And then I'm gonna take my marker, my left marker, and place it up here, keeping in mind that I have an arrow on my marker, and so it's facing up to say that she's upright to the radiologist. I'm going to place a shield right behind you, make sure not to trip on it, and the shield's going to help from scatter radiation and protect her reproductive organs. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a 120 kVp at 2 mass, and we're going to do some breathing with the patient. All right, Ms. Anderson, you're going to take a deep breath in and let it out. We're going to do a second deep breath in and hold it, stop breathing, x-ray. Go ahead and breathe again, relax, and we're gonna go to the lateral view. So go ahead and bring your arms up here. I'm gonna check to see that the uh, x-ray is centered at T7 once again. It's gonna be right in her armpit. And we're gonna see that you can see a little bit of light on either side. I think she could step slightly back. Sorry, I'm gonna touch your chest there. Okay, and we're gonna check that she's as close as possible to the board. But make sure that she's not leaning on it to prevent any type of distortion or rotation. Okay, and then I'm gonna place a shield there, keeping my marker here. Like I said, centered at T7. And I'm at 72 inches distance still. We're going to do the same breathing sequence. We take two breaths to ensure that the lungs are fully expanded to see maximum amount of space in the lungs. Okay, so today we're going to do uh, 120 kV at about like 5 mass. So since it's a little bit deeper of a distance we're going through, we're going to increase the mass. So you're going to take a deep breath in once again and let it out. Deep breath in, and hold it, stop breathing, x-ray. All right, go ahead and breathe and relax again. I'm gonna remove this from here. And you can go ahead and we'll have someone come and transport you back to your room. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we're gonna take a look at our images. So here you wanna check to make sure that you see 10 ribs in the lung field to ensure they took a large enough breath. You want to see the scapula out of the lung field, equidistance apart from the sternal clavicular joints on either end, the vertebrae seen behind the heart shadow, here's the aortic arch, here's the air-filled trachea. You want to also make sure that you collimate your images well so that you're not giving your patient an excessive patient dose. And here you can see that the patient took a large enough breath. Their diaphragm is nice and pressed down. And you can see a good image here. All right, now here we're going to look at our lateral view. Um, for this one, you want to ensure that the posterior ribs are superimposed here. Um, you're also going to check that you got the apices to the costophrenic angles again, the entire lung field. Another thing is you want to make sure that the arms were out of the way of the patient's apices. So it looks like my patient had her arms way high, so you couldn't see any soft tissue overlap. 
Thank you. All right. This looks pretty good. So we're going to do a breathing with the patient. So you're going to take a deep breath in. Oh, sorry, I forgot my technique. Also on the marker. It was already on the say marker. It? You have to, I read on the room. I have to you say have it. to actually place it on the, in the video. And the shielding. Huh. Oh yeah, and the shielding. Oh yeah. I'm gonna check, make sure that you can get as close as you can to this bar, or this board, and check that she's not rotating. We're gonna do it again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. All right. My name is Taylor. This is we're gonna be doing a chest X. I'm gonna start. <laughs> <laughs>